good morning dear students today we will start a new point means it is one point it is not a separate topic uh, but it is a point that is a balancing chemical equations means in this topic in this point we are going to discuss about how to balance a chemical equation so you already some students i have discussed means we discussed in the class how to balance the chemical equation so why it is necessary to balance in chemical equation see in the class 10th standard again the metal and non metal same a lesson but in that so many reactions and how to balance a chemical equations that one more point is given okay and for board exam also they are giving some reactions and you have to balance it so from now onwards we will you start practice how to balance chemical equations okay so uh, today in this point we will discuss about the balancing chemical equation see in uh, lesson metal and non metal already we discuss about some chemical reactions okay if metals will react with water then what will product what will be the product okay and see uh, that time we only just given the number two number three number to balance the chemical equations but how to balance that that we will discuss now okay so see your chemical equations now what is the exactly meaning of chemical equations see chemical equation means what the mathematical way to present a chemical reactions okay mathematical way to present the chemical reactions and see if any one reaction the reactant side and the product side both the side whatever the molecules atoms it will be the same okay and it should be the same because of the law of conservation of mass see that you will learn with practically next year because in ninth standard it is a given that okay so for that um, this balancing equations are very important okay means both this is the reactant side and this one is a product side that you know now here reactant means those elements are react with each other and they form a product so this is a these are reactant and this one is a product okay this one is one reaction okay so before to see how to balance the reactions one trick i will tell you okay what you have to see first observe a chemical reaction properly okay in that chemical reaction which elements are present see the first what just to see chemical reaction okay on uh, reactant side product side here which elements are there in this product side which elements are there just to observe it after that the next process what we have to do see whenever we are going to balance the reaction first you see the metals if any metal is present in that reaction then first you balance metal okay after balancing the metals now metals you know that which metals are there okay metals zinc copper aluminum and so many metals are there so whenever you will observe the reaction just first find out metal and see metals are balanced or not if they not balanced then first you have to balance metal okay the next step i mean next non metals the first we have to balance metal then next one non metals non metals may be carbon fluorine nitrogen okay mean and then oxygen and last hydrogen so any chemical reaction see these only are there means may be some metals may be non metals may be oxygen and hydrogen so this sequence when you will balance the reaction this sequence is a very important so if you will remember this sequence then any type of reaction if you will get you are able to balance that reaction okay so this what is the sequence see first metal then non metal then oxygen and last hydrogen okay now we will see some example see here one example they given c means what carbon c means carbon now this is basic knowledge you know this okay to write here again carbon oxygen then carbon monoxide it will take a more time 
and you know that what is this because in sixth standard we are learning this all the thing okay so c means carbon o oxygen and co carbon monoxide see sometimes now in this reaction carbon monoxide form maybe in this reaction co2 will also form okay but now i written here carbon monoxide now see then both the side first talks of the reaction okay here carbon oxygen and co so in this reaction any metal is there any metal is present in this reaction no metal is not present in this reaction the next what we have to see non metal here any non metal is present yes what carbon this non metal is present carbon so see now carbon in reactant side and product side also first of all we will write elements carbon and oxygen uh, carbon and oxygen how many elements are present in this reaction only two elements that is carbon and oxygen first you write down how many atoms of that element are present in the reactant side as well as in product side now see in this side carbon 1 here also 1 oxygen 2 and here only 1 so this reaction is not balanced so how to balance this reaction first to see in this metal non not that then non metal okay carbon but carbon is already balanced here also one carbon and in this side also one carbon then next one what after non metal oxygen okay now here oxygen too and here only one so here oxygen is not balanced then how to balance it oxygen see two oxygen so here also we need two oxygen so what we will give the c here you have to give whatever whatever we are balancing the reaction you give number here okay two now see oxygen two atoms and carbon also two see whenever you will balance now oxygen balance here also to point here also to okay but again you have to see first one is balance or not whenever we are balancing next means now oxygen we balance already because here to oxygen here also but now the change occur in carbon here to carbon and in this side only one so what we will give two so here also two carbons in this also two carbon so what is the balance reaction C plus O two it gives two CO. So this is a balance equation. Do you understand it? See immediately if you will take the any it will take a more time to understand it. Every day at least two or three reactions you try to balance it. If you will get any confusion you ask me but every day practice is most important otherwise today you will solve some reactions and when the next period that time you will see then again you will forget it whatever so every day you practice it at least two or three reactions okay now one more example we will see see second example n n means what nitrogen very simple reaction and even n nitrogen h hydrogen and nh3 ammonia okay nh3 means what ammonia is for now in this first we will write the elements which nitrogen is present and hydrogen is present okay so for nitrogen okay first we write how many atoms nitrogen this two here one hydrogen two and here hydrogen three see here both the side it is not balanced so what first we have to see in this any metal is there no then after that non metal nitrogen so first we will balance nitrogen now here nitrogen three and here only two so what what we will do we want here here one and here two so here we will give two because here how many nitrogens two nitrogens 
and here it was only one so we given here one here also two nitrogens and this side also two nitrogens okay nitrogen balance now we will see hydrogen now see hydrogen two but here three into two three two is a six now here hydrogen six and this side only two so here also I have to give three three two is a six so this reaction is balanced see here and see here two number here three and two now we just count it how many nitrogens see we will write again balance or not we check see nitrogen 2 here also hydrogen 3 to the 6 here also same so both the side it is balanced now ok so these some examples more, one more reaction we will see ok see next example here Na plus H2O. See this already reaction we learn in uh, when metals react with hydrogen. Okay. Uh, just to revise that lesson. Na sodium plus water. It gives sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. Okay. You write name also downside. Sodium plus water. It gives sodium hydroxide plus H2 gas. Now this reaction Okay, so first we will write which elements are present in this reaction. So first Na, then hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, see. So we will write how many atoms are present. See sodium, this side 1, this side also 1. Hydrogen here 2. And here 3, oxygen 1 and 1. See, now what we have to balance? Hydrogen. So, whenever we are balancing equation, this you remember it. Metal, non-metal, oxygen and hydrogen. So, first to see metal. Okay, first metal. So, in this reaction metal is Na. So, we are here Na. Sodium is balanced. Okay. Now any non-metal then what directly? Oxygen and hydrogen. So we will see oxygen. Here oxygen 1. In this side also oxygen 1. So it is balanced. Now we will see hydrogen. So this side hydrogen 2. And in this side 3. So what we will do? Just think. Write this reaction fast. This solve and save. Okay. Now the next one reaction C. Potassium plus water. It gives potassium hydroxide plus H2. This also you reaction you have to balance. Okay. So these two reactions you completed today itself. Now remaining points we will continue in next lecture. Thank you.